open, you'll set up un, uh, unsuggested catalepsy. Four tests. At, yeah, you will set it up. But at one point in the testing process... First test. Yeah, first test is for... Um, anesthesia, general anesthesia that's unsuggested, and you'll reef on the radial nerve, mm -hmm. and they won't respond. Now, to the observers, even to the, to the subject, if they haven't had this done to them before, they don't know what it should feel like. So it's actually not that convincing. To right, quotes. there's no saying, oh, you, well, you feel nothing, you in, feel nothing, yeah. it's nothing. In the beginning, they don't know what it should feel like. So when we do it as a test, it's really just for our benefit. We go, oh yeah, okay, they passed that test. Then when they come out of it and we do it again, we say, well, this is what happened. And every single time, what do they do? They go, ow, Yeah, that. yeah. They can't believe how much it hurts because it is pretty And with nasty. Lisa in the demo, I didn't do it that hard on her afterwards. Yeah. But during, I mean, you can you, see. I I'm, watched you. I was yeah. filming it because I was watching you reefing on that nerve, yeah. strumming it like a guitar strummer. Like Jack right? the freaking guitar strummer, yeah. And then afterwards, you usually do it about half the intensity and they go, ah, oh, geez, that really hurts. And then we teach our students how to do the same thing and how to test it and how to demonstrate after the fact. My point in all of this is it tends to be an amazing convincer of the power of hypnosis for people who've never really experienced it. For sure, it. Chris. And, and of course, people can come back and say, well, you're just doing what you're saying the mesmerists are doing. You're pre-framing what's going to happen and all. But let me There's, answer this. Yeah. The very first time I did it was in Derek Bomber's class, and nobody knew what I was going to do, and it worked. Yeah, and there is certainly an element that if you pre-frame to someone that they won't feel pain, you're getting that expectation. they won't. Yeah. But, and I can't remember if you were teaching it and if you said what was going to happen or not, but it doesn't matter because Lisa already knew she'd been in this state before. Yeah. But generally speaking, okay, you don't have to suggest <laughs> this and you get pain relief through, th simply through the deep relaxation alone, right? You explain it scientifically as the brush, the brush endings, endings start to separate, you get yeah. distance separation and that affects the, that attenuates pain, the signal massively. So what happens is all these people in hypnosis, in any way that you set up hypnosis, but doing Esdale, you're going to get the deepest, the coma, the hypnotic coma. Oh, gosh. And they get an amazing result, and that's usually a really cool convincer for a lot of people. So that's always fun on the last day. 